it's arrived. Well, I, I, I think it has anyway. I mean, it's just a box. I'm not quite sure what's inside. I mean, I ho hopefully it is the Oculus Quest. Um, does it does it actually say uh, Oculus? Okay, yeah, it, it is. Yeah. Yeah, let's let, let's just open it up, shall we? Right now, I am pretty excited for this. I mean, I've already I've already played with this and well many times and uh, seen it up close, but. To actually have my own one is completely different. So, yeah, let's get this baby open. I've uh, got my lovely trusted kitchen knife. Let's, um, well, it's always really nice just opening up brand new boxes. I mean, being careful not to scratch it, but uh, it's such a nice, nice feeling. Um, let's just hope that it is an Oculus Quest. Yeah, okay, it is it's an Oculus Quest, right? <laughs> It just looks so good. Right, here we go. That That's just, it's just, it's just nice. Oh, it's just a nice weight to it and just, ah, oh, they, they do do packaging really well. I've ordered the 64 gigabyte model, 399, uh, directly from uh, Oculus website. Because I will be looking to record gameplay videos. Yeah, I just didn't really fancy shelling out another 100 pound for the uh, 128 gigabyte model. I don't want to tear the box, so I just want to like lightly get get a like little nook and cranny so I can get it. Oh, oh, the, just the sensation you get when you just tear the knife through the plastic and oh it's, it's just so nice like i love wrapping open un unwrapping like you know games or tech gadget bundles and just the cellophane that it comes in oh it doesn't have the smell that you should have with it but a little, a little bit anyway i'm getting high on um <laughs> on packaging yes come on Mm. And I'm guessing it's a top comes up. Yeah, okay, yes it is. Nice uh, foam inside to uh, keep it nice and separated. Oh yeah, it's got it's got the smell there. Well, this is the main baby, the lovely Oculus Quest itself. I've held it a few times, but when it's actually your own one, you just admire its beauty even more. Just the nice plush cushions and the fabric is, is really is really well made. Okay, so we've got the headset. We have got the lovely touch controllers. I've used the Oculus Rift and the sensors were facing downwards, but now they've changed it to face upwards to do with the sensors on the headset. So now going forward, the Quest and the Rift S have these new touch controllers where the sensors are facing upwards it might take a bit of getting used to because sometimes when playing like your thumb like hits the sensors and gets in the way but i'm sure you'll just get used to it it's only happened to me like once or twice yeah they're really really nice uh really nice control they've got a little bit of um texture a bit of the extra grip i quite like that compared to the old uh, touch controllers and what else have we got so this is gonna be uk adapter plug which is great if you wear glass Glasses as an extra space um, for to fit your glasses in, and we have that must be the charging cable. Any stickers that normally come? Ooh. Oh, okay, right. So the two AA is it AA or AAA batteries? I think they're AA. Yeah, two AA batteries and safety and warranty manual. You know, no one really reads that, but it's, it's there. And we've got some uh, reference guide on how to put it together. And the most important one is to keep your lenses out of direct sunlight because they are pretty much like a magnifying glass. Get them in the sun and it's going to completely it's going to completely blow out the OLED panel that's behind the lenses and you will have to send it back to Oculus to get it repaired that's all the good stuff out the way oh. I just can't stop looking at it. <laughs> I love it already. I cannot wait to uh, get started. I'm going to be trying to do a lot of gameplay uh, videos on this channel. Just all things, not just VR related, just gaming related. But yeah, a lot to do with um, VR and, and Oculus. Right, so I need to now turn this bad boy on and uh, get it hooked up to my phone and get it paired and everything. And then obviously once I've finished that, you don't need a phone anymore. Zoom in, go to my... Oculus app. Uh, let's go to pair new headset. Let's click on Oculus Quest. Got a nice little animation pop up there. 
Right, let's click start. Right, let's turn it on then. Ooh, look at the lenses. Right, let's turn it on. One, two seconds. So you get the um, Oculus symbol comes up. It's just loading. And the all familiar Oculus sound plays. It's black. Yeah, it needs charging. There's no power in there. Okay, let's let's put a charger in, shall we? <laughs> right, okay, we have got my charger. Beautiful. The charging light is on. Try it a second time. Aha, right, okay. Might help if I actually put the batteries in as well. Just so excited. God, just give me my virtual hands. Uh, Click next, yeah, that's where I already am. Look into your headset for five digit code. Three, nine, two, two, one. Pairing, now we are looking for Wi-Fi networks. You'll be notified on your phone when your headset is ready. Wi-Fi is connected. Uh, insert batteries, uh, yeah, I have done that. Controllers are paired, yeah, I am English. See, now I'm gonna go through a safety video. Yeah, I acknowledge the health and safety. You'll be notified when the update is complete and your headset is ready to put on. During the update, you can return to the Oculus app to browse the store. Your headset is being updated, thank you. Okay, we got a little indication there, so we got 37%. Oculus have said there's around 50 titles at launch that you can delve yourself into and play in. Let me just take this off my head now as it's downloaded. Whew, that's better. Yeah, 50 titles. Tools that uh, games and experiences and entertainment things. There's also quite a few free ones as well, which I will try and play sometime in the very near future. It's completely free to go online. You don't have to pay a subscription like you do with Xbox or PlayStation and the very recent Nintendo now. So at the moment, it's free to go online on Oculus. Hopefully, they don't change it in the future. But it's free to go online, play online, talk to people online. It's all it's all free. So once you've bought the content on the Oculus uh, store through your phone or uh, on the actual headset, everything is free. There are some in-app purchases on some games, but quite a few of them, it's all it's all free. So we are gonna come back to this when it's updated and we will uh, try and have a look at what the home screen looks like. Rightio, we are back and it has been updated. So on the Quest, there is an actual mechanical lens slider depending on how wide your eyes are apart. On the new Rift S, there isn't the mechanical one. There's an actual, it's done in software, which a lot of people aren't really too happy with. But I mean, it's, it's still, it still works. I mean, my, I think my eyes are average. It doesn't really apply to me. Okay, maybe I should set this up on an actual real space so you can see me. Yeah, let me let me let me come back. Rightio, so I have got my uh, play in space. I've got everything out of the way so I'm able to move around freely and not hurt myself. Let's go ahead and put the headset on and I'll show you what the first setup feature is where you need to set up um, a guardian wall around you. So this is just a quick update on this video. After finishing this I put it in my computer to watch back over the footage and it turns out that the pass through mode for some reason you can't see it on my device. Um, I can see it but when playing it back it's just a black screen. I don't know why because there's other people on YouTube and you, you can see theirs. I'm gonna input someone else's video or oculus is so you've got an idea of what it looks like so this is what you will see when you first uh, put your headset on and this is called pass through plus it kind of reminds me of the, the music video from um aha called take on me where it's all kind of sketchy black and white that's what it looks like to me anyway but you can literally see the outside world um even though i've got the headset on and i can't see but because that there is um sensors and cameras around the headset i can actually see my my limb room it's pretty cool it's pretty cool to, you know for on such a standalone headset to have actual no physical sensors pointing at me and detecting where I am in the room. That's a pretty cool achievement in, in technology. So we need to confirm the floor level. So you see this kind of like crisscross sketch uh, on the floor. If it looks like it's on the floor, then uh, click OK. If not, then you can click reset. And what will happen is that you just need to put your control on the floor like that. And then uh, you can then click 
on firm. Pretty simple. The really cool part is you can define your play area. So you need to point your controller, and as I'm pointing it, you see that kind of crisscross grid again. So you need to draw an outline of where you want to be uh, walking around in, in your area. You don't need to do it too, too far and big, but an adequate space is fine. I mean, I don't have a lot of space, but if I hold down the trigger, you'll see um, some kind of like sketch line appear. So this is gonna be my boundaries, my wall that I can't go past. There you go, so now it's gone all blue. So this will be my playing space. I will be able to walk all around here, depending on what game will allow it. And you'll see this um, like imaginary kind of force field that's come up around the wall that I have just inputted. And the really clever thing is, is that when you walk up to it, it starts to go a bit red. And that's indicating to you that you're just about to hit the wall. And then there's a circle there and that's just saying, don't go any further because depending on your play space, you might be hitting an actual wall or a wardrobe or a person, I don't know, whatever, whatever you set your parameters up to. But when you're playing a game or in your home, for example, when you move towards the end of your play space that I just set up, you can see that the uh, force field has started to appear and it's just saying that don't go any further because you're about to leave your play space. And then watch what happens when I do. When I do leave it, the pass through plus mode comes back into comes back into feature again and I can actually see my real world living space when I come back into it. I come back into the virtual world. That is just so clever and like no latency issues. It's just really like straight away, snap on. It's really fluid. Like, I love that feature. It's really, really clever. And remember, this is a standalone unit. This is no PC or anything else attached to this. It's all built in. Love that feature. Uh, it's really funny. You could be like, Cooey! <laughs> That's very, very, very clever. So we click confirm on that. We will now be transported to your, this is your home. This is your home where you, well, you won't physically be allowed to relax and go on the furniture, but you can uh, observe it and live and breathe in your new home. And that's it. And that is how you set it up. Poof. Right, I am actually pretty sweaty after that. And I've only been in there for about, what, 20 minutes? So just think what will happen after a couple of hours. I so can't wait to uh, play more content, get to grips and get really into it. Hopefully you've liked this little unboxing and first stages of what to expect when you put the headset on. As I say, yeah, I can't wait to play more content and just show you guys and gameplay videos and all like really technical information um, but yeah really looking forward to it so please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any other new videos that I put out which I'm gonna be doing consistently and regularly to try and have lots of fun with this channel really anyway thanks guys for watching and I will see you next time bye